What is up, everyone? How is everyone doing out there today? Welcome back to Wildcat MTG, and uh, today I go back to the well I probably shouldn't go back to. Uh, Dominaria Remastered, I'm going to open up a collector booster box, and the reason I say that is my last one of these I opened up was incredible. <laughs> the box was really, really high end. Uh, I crushed it. And so I probably shouldn't be opening another one because it's probably not going to work out as well. But that being said, I love the set. Uh, these boxes have come down significantly in price. Uh, so the singles within, that's that's why. But I think it's a really good product. I'm a huge fan of it and I just really enjoy it. Like I was thinking about what boxes I want to open and I was like, yeah, this, this resonates with me. There's so many cool cards in it uh, that I can use just additional copies of for additional debts, uh, decks. So uh, that's where we're at. I'm going to open this up. And uh, why don't we go ahead and dive on in and let's crack some packs. So as I mentioned, uh, these boxes have come way down in price. Um, I think they had pretty much um, initially hit the market at around 300. I think I saw them as high as 330. As of the filming of this video, these collector boxes can be had for as low. I've seen them as low as 235, more typically around 240 to 245. Uh, but that is obviously down significantly. As I mentioned, you know, a lot of the singles have come down in price as well. So there's a, a you know, a good reason for it. But uh, I'm just a big fan of the set in general. I think the cards within it are very cool. Um, there's a lot of big staples in it, and so I'm more than happy to buy this with the expectation of not trying to flip the cards so much as hanging on to them and adding them to, to future decks. All right, we're going to start off with a Isolated Chapel in the Retro Frame Foil. Cool, cool, cool. I know that the uh, check lands aren't everyone's cup of tea. I think they're fine. Um, I don't like, you know, go, go crazy over them. They're not fetch lands or anything, but a, a solid land cycle, so... We'll start off with uh, that. That's not bad. Arborea is a borderless. Uh, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Uh, also, like, was like a $10 card pre-reprint, and now is just a couple of bucks, maybe, if that. Grim Lava Mancer up next as a retro frame. Sure. And a <laughs> regular pack foil isolated chapel after that. Okay. And then we get into our uh, foil retro frame and our retro frames. Got our lands and commons and uncommons. All right. Uh, not a super big first pack. One of the things, the themes about these boxes is that uh, duplication is a real thing. Um, and it's really just about how well you do in the duplication department. If you're going to, if you duplicate, you know, three bulk, uh, three bulk rares, not so good. But if you can duplicate, you know, things like Vamp Tutor, uh, you're in much better shape. All right, next pack. Go with a Glory, Retro Frame Glory. Yeah, not exactly where we wanted to be. Okay. But we do have a Mythic, and it is a Vamp Tutor. Yes! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, Borderless Vamp Tutor. Still holding it around uh, 34 uh, The foil version is much more expensive. It's almost double in price, but you know what? I am never upset about the Vamp Tutor. I actually think the Tutors in general and the Richard Kane Ferguson art, I really like that cycle. They're all done very similarly art-wise. So that is a sweet pull for us, one I'm very happy about. After that, we have a Soul Canard, the Swamp King. Not as excited about that. That's fine. <laughs> and an Enlightened Tutor, though. There we go. Pack Foil Enlightened Tutor. Uh, you know, this is still probably, gosh, I'm going to guess uh, around maybe 17, be my guess, question mark. So that's not bad. That is a huge hit for us still. And I'm going to throw that up top. And after that, we have an Ornithopter in that retro frame. Hey, Swords. Cool. Swords. Uh, never upset about a Swords or Plowshares. And then we hit our uncommons and commons after that. Okay, pack two. Much better than pack one. Much, 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 much better. All right. Um, haven't quite decided what I'm going to do here. Sure. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Let's just open another pack, right? All right, that makes me feel a little bit better about things. Uh, again, my last box was, was pretty bonkers. It really should have been a walkaway moment for me. But um, have I mentioned I like opening packs of cards? <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, token Elephant. Yep. What is that? Is it Dennis of the Deep? It sure is. Yeah, it's, uh, hopefully we won't make a theme of this. So there's a Retro Frame Dennis, and it's actually a really sweet looking card. It is just not a valuable card, but it is a Retro Frame Dennis nonetheless. After that, we have a Chainer in the Borderless Treatment. Chainer Nightmare, uh, excuse me, a Dementia Master in the Borderless. After that, we have an Arcanus the Omnipotent, Omnipotent. As the retro frame, not exactly like a, a banger of a card there. And a Mystical Tutor. We are killing it in that pack foil slot, though. That is very cool. Mystical Tutor. Uh, again, probably, I'm going to say, seven or eight bucks. Uh, never upset about that. Mog Warmarsher on the retro frame. Terror. Fire Blast. Nice. Swamp. 
And uh, I still like those foil, those those retro frame foil lands as well. I am a fan, so I'm cool with that. Okay, got them all in view there. All right, Mystical Tutor kind of saved that pack. After that, uh, not not as great for being honest with ourselves. But if uh, these are the cards we're going to double up, we're going to be in great shape. If some of the other cards I pulled, not so much. Triskelion. Um, yep, not exactly the retro frame rare we want to see. We have not done well in that slot so far. Rare after that is a Mystical Tutor, though. I will take me some Borderless Mystical Tutor action. Absolutely, freaking lootly Nice. Um, yeah, Mystical Tutor, you know, I, I'm going to say probably about 8 bucks as a Borderless, but again, I think it's a really sweet pull, so I'm cool with that. Sapperling Symbiosis in the Retro Frame after that. We also have not killed it in the Retro Frame, just the regular Retro Frame slot. Packfoil is a Royal Assassin, um, one of our only swing and misses from that slot so far. That's okay. Borderless Foil, Rada Air to Kill. A, uh, it's a kind of a weird card. It's downshifted. Uh, I think it was originally in Planar Chaos as a rare. Cool card, not valuable. That's okay. Ornithopter after that. Savannah Lions, good old planes. I love the Lightning Planes, though. The Foil Lightning Planes, that looks good. Okay, cool. I am a fan of this set, just in general. Like, if you told me that there is a collector box that has sweet... Force of Wills, you have Retro Frame, Borderless, you know, regular. It's going to have Vampiric Tutor. It's going to have Enlightened Tutor, Worldly Tutor. It's going to have a Birds of Paradise in it. It's going to have, what else am I missing? I mean, just a bunch of others to Sylvan Library. And you're going to tell me that collector box is under $250 right now. Um, I'm a fan. Ooh, what do we have here? Yeah! 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 Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo! Let's go! Let's go! Woo! All right. It was a good decision. Opening the box ends up being a good decision for us. <laughs> uh, this is a foil borderless force of will. I still think, I think this is like 112, 110 bucks. I'm like, like 110, 115. Monstrous hit. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Good box. Wow. Okay. I am super pumped about that. Um, and that's a hang. Oh, we have another myth behind that. It's a nut collector, isn't it? It sure is. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, not even gonna be upset because we got ourselves a foil borderless force of freaking will. Uh, nut collector, that is a mythic. Why not? We'll throw it up top, but uh, it's a little bit back down to earth. But you know what? That's okay. All is right in the world when you have a, a borderless vamp and a foil borderless force of freaking will. That is nice. And a glory after that, because you know, duplication, why not? Is a borderless glory, excuse me, a retro frame glory. Uh, and we end with a pack foil that is a vexing sphinx. Also a big swing and miss, but that's okay. Uh, no matter what, this box is going to end up being awesome. Like, that's all there is now. Now that we have secured what we already secured, and we're not even halfway through the box yet, we're going to be in great shape. Um, phew! Holy moly. Wow. Okay. I was real frightened. Uh, I'm not even going to lie. Again, I, you know, my last box was, was pretty redonkulous. Uh, so I was like, oh, this is a this is a comeback to reality moment. This is a this is a heat check, a real heat check moment. And uh, man, whew, did it turn out well? All right, here we go. Our Canacy Omnipotent. Yep. All right. Um, you're not gonna bring me down. That's okay. I'm in good spirits. Even if it's Arcanus. A Grim Lava Mancer after that because you know duplication. That's the uh, again the the kind of the good or bad with these boxes. We got our Borderless Grim Lava Mancer after that. A Joe Rail Monwali uh, Monwali uh, Recluse as the retro frame and a Pashalik Mons pack foil after that. Pretty much, uh, that was a swing and miss pack at its finest. Impulse, Thran Golem. Actually, I like that retro frame, Thran, Thran Golem. Pretty good. Street Wraith, cool. All right. That's okay. That was half the box, and no matter what, we are going to be in, in decent shape. Um, yeah, cool. Let's, let's get into that second half. Oh my goodness. You know, I'll put those right there. I'm going to throw Nut Collector on the other side because whatever about that. All right. Still got half a box to go. Uh, we've already seen double Arcanus, which means I don't think he has a... I don't think he has a borderless version, so I don't think we have to dodge a third Arcanus, although we could always get just the regular old pack foil version, I suppose. Um, we've seen a couple glories. So, you know... Gosh, I cannot get this. Sorry. And this one does not want to open all the way. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Nor Elephant Token. Vexing Sphinx. Gross. That retro frame slot has been brutal. Rare is a... Hey, there we go. Nice. I will take a Borderless Entomb, though. 
That's absolutely awesome. And Tomb is one of those cards that's like way down that people are upset about because it was pre reprint like a $30 card just for any copy you could find. And now like base copies are like legitimately $6. Um, this is a hold card for me. This is a card where I'm happy to own a bunch of copies and I'll sit on them and that's cool. Uh, Pyro Zombie in the retro frame after that. We finished with a pack full. Yep. Oh boy. There, there it was. That's basically calling my shot, huh? Pack foil uh, Arcanus. Yep. Okay. Kind of over that. Hey, borderless foil street rate though. That's cool. Counter spell. Nice. Chain lightning. Also nice. And uh, nature's lore. I mean, there's some good uncommons and commons in in this set as well. Um, that are gonna, you know, nature's lore is one of those cards that typically has a few dollars in value. So, all right. Um, yeah, the Entomb was the best thing about that pack. And uh, again, Entomb is probably, I'm going to guess, I don't know, six, seven bucks. All right, here we go. Retro frame. Be kind. What's a mythic? And it's a legacy weapon. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, that is not a, a chase borderless mythic, borderless foil mythic, but that's okay. We'll take it. All right. Rare after that is a Wrath of God. I actually really like the art on this. I think it looks pretty sweet. So I'm not going to pretend to be upset about it. It's not like it'd be huge value, but that's okay. Uh, Overmaster is the retro frame after that. Sure. Also kind of struck out really on those retro frames, huh? Not done Not done specifically well in that category. That's okay. Oh, we have a mythic here though. Hey, it's a gauntlet of power. All right. All right. I'm cool with that. Good old gauntlet of power. Uh, that's a nice, uh, you know, pack foil. I'll take, a, I'll take a mythic in that slot. All right, Juggernaut, nice. High Tide, actually pretty good. Momentary Blink, also pretty good. Okay, not bad, not bad. All right, we got four packs left. We have definitely slowed down since our epic Force of Will Borderless Foil hit, but still got some packs. So, I mean, I kind of feel like everything at this point is gravy, but, you know, let's just be full-on greedy here. There we go, there we go. I'll take it. That is a Borderless Foil Worldly Tutor. Uh, yeah, that's a really solid pull. I'm going to say this is probably about, uh, 17 to $20 would be my guess. So that's not bad. I'm going to put that up top. Of course, absorb after that in the borderless treatment. Sure. Why not? And retro frame is another denizen of the deep because you know, duplication. Why not? And a pack foil Zur the enchanter after that. Okay. Oh, nice. Good old duress. Gem Pawn Incinerator, another Duress, Mountain, and yeah, cool. All right. Uh, I'm not going to be, uh, you know, again, <laughs> Worldly Tutor. That's uh, that's going to go in my in my binder. It's going to go in the personal collection. I'm happy to stack up on tutors uh, while they're readily available. Not a problem for me. And that's kind of how I view this. Um, I'm okay with, with sitting on cards long term. Pashalic Bonds in the Retro Frame Foil. Uh, I don't think that has any like super value to it. That's okay. Birds of Paradise. Neat. I know a lot of people aren't super crazy about this artwork. I think it's fine. Uh, but at Birds of Paradise, nonetheless, uh, probably, gosh, six, seven bucks. And a Decimate after that. Okay, well, I don't want to see any more of those in this box. Uh, that is another swing and miss from that retro frame slot. But we do have a Lyra Dawnbringer. Good old Lyra Dawnbringer. Uh, that is a pack foil rare, uh, excuse me, a pack foil mythic. Um, one of my complaints about this set is Lyra had just been reprinted in Jumpstart 2022, and then they turn around and put her in, in Dawn Remastered, so I kind of think that's kind of a little meh, but I think the card is really good, obviously. It is a super good Angel Tribal card. Rada Air to Keld and the Retro Frame Foil, Mog War Marshal, White Main Lion, Swamp, and uh, Ice Hide. Nice. Some good uncommons and commons. All right, we have two packs left. Two packs left, and as you can probably imagine by looking down at that Force of Will, I'm already over the moon. We're good. So now we're just trying to add to the good pile. We do have a Zer the Enchanter in the Retro Frame Foil. Okay, fair enough. Rare after that is a Denison of the Deep. Yep, there, there's our trifecta. We have a Denison in the Retro Frame, a Retro Frame Foil, and now a Borderless. I would be happy to dodge a Borderless Foil, please. Uh, another Lyra, sure. There's a Retro Frame Lyra. Again, cool card. I'm fine with it. It is another mythic no, no, nonetheless. Arborea in the pack foil. And a uh, Seer, Keeper of the Flame, Spirit Link, Forest. Okay, last pack. Last pack. Okay, here we go. Can we get a strong finish? 
Yeah, there we go. Nice. I will take that. I love me some retro frame foil in tomb. That is uh, easily our best retro frame foil of the box. And uh, yeah, I'm cool with it. I think this is still probably, I don't know, it's like 10 bucks. Like it's not, it's way down. So if you like the retro frame foil in tomb, now's a really good time to pick one up. Uh, but that is a sweet hit. I'll take it. And then Worldly Tutor, Siege Gang Commander in the Borderless after that. Royal Assassin in the Retro Frame, because why not? And a Lieutenant Kurtar Pack Foil after that. Foil Impulse, Peregrine Drake, Dread, uh, Dread Return. And uh, that's going to do it. You know what? Again, I said it at the beginning, or as soon as we hit that Force of Will, the, the rest of the box it could do no wrong. Um, you know, the biggest thing, again, I'll say is I think that the duplication is, is kind of, it can be your friend or foe. And that is a theme with these uh, Dominary Remastered draft box, uh, well, draft or collector boxes. But you're telling me a product that has, again, borderless retro frame, regular frame, force of wills, vamp tutors, and tombs, worldly tutors, mystical tutors, enlightened tutors, um, birds of paradise, um, just a whole slew of really, really playable cards. And the collector boxes are sub 250 right now. Um, I'm a fan. So that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed already, consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Hitting the like button for me. By all means, drop me some comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much, everybody. And um, be well.